Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This one is like my must-haves, all-time favorite products that can go year-round and not just for the summer. If you want to see my must-haves of all time, my holy grail products, keep on watching. So I hope you have enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Comment below videos you want me to do or you suggest. So I hope you enjoy. Let's get into the video. Next must-have thing is actually for the summer for me personally but this can go all year round 24 7 are some books you know gotta get those good books in reading milk and honey by ruby car car something like that i'm sorry if i just butchered the name so i highly recommend this book if you're going through tough times or like if you just want to read a really really good poems really good poetry i highly suggest this book so my last book that I read this summer was everything everything and basically for summer reading I had to read the outliers and a book of my choice so I choose to read everything everything because a bunch of people told me read the book first don't watch the movie first I read it in like literally four days it's such such a good book I love it so much I'm waiting to watch the movie and I really would read the book first because when I saw the trailer I was like this already looks low-key different from the movie, from the book, but I'm like, alright, I'm just gonna read it, watch it, and see how I feel about it. So yeah, those are the books I recommend to read this summer. So now I'm kind of gonna go into, like, fashion, beauty, whatever, you know, my go-to. My next go-to product, I'm gonna do skincare now, is African Black Soap one this is my mom's she hasn't opened it yet so I decided to use hers because mine is a mess because I already started using it and obviously I don't keep it in the package I keep it in the little soap dish things but this is literally the best thing ever I have oily acne prone skin and when I tell you this cleared up my skin I, mean, I broke up from like a pre-workout for working out and whatever it broke me out otherwise my skin looks good it actually cleared up a bit I started using this the end of June before I went on vacation then I started using it I used it every single day along with the toner those two products twice a day and that's it that's all I use for skincare I highly recommend this if you have oily acne prone skin if not they have other lines that you can try like they have other collections you just look on the website my next skincare must have product is the Shea Moisture Black Seed Oil. Funny story, when I got the African Black Soap products, I got the soap, like the bar soap that I showed, the toner, and the makeup wipes, and it was a buy one get one 50. And I wanted to get like all the African Black Soap they had, but then they didn't have a fourth product that I wanted to try. So I got this because I've always wanted to try an oil, and I was just like, wow, like this looks cool. I started using this and I use it every night after like right before I go to bed that's my last skincare thing I do I use this every single night and when I used it every single night with the African black soap and everything it, it was starting to fade my scars away and it's just really this is really really good I don't know I'm not sure if it helped me completely but I like it it's cool so if you want to try something new maybe this will help you I don't know. I don't love oil stuff day, so I use it at night. I don't know if that's the best way to use it, but that's how I use it. And I like it. It's cool. Or oh, whatever. It's cool, whatever. Let me move on to hair care now. I just started using the um, shampoo and conditioner from Shea Moisture that's for the curl enhancing. And so far, I love it. It leaves my hair so clean and smelling good for days. Like, I'm trying to wash my hair less because of my hair type. Like, um, my hair type, I have thick curly hair. I used it once and I really, really like it. So if you have curly hair, you should check that out. And they're curl enhancing, their coconut and hibiscus line, I think, for curl enhancing. Try that out. My next hair product is the Not Your Mother's Clean Freak Refreshing Dry Shampoo. And I actually really, really like it. It leaves my hair really, really clean and nice and it looks really, really good. So I highly recommend this if you have oily hair and you don't want to wash your hair like every other day highly recommend it this is what it looks like and also i saw on pinterest that this is one of the best drugstore dry shampoos so my next two actually are miscellaneous and then i'll get into makeup um this is from victoria's secret it's the 
Exotic Bloom Fragrance Mist. I love this perfume so, 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 so much. Or whatever, the semi-annual sale. And it was originally $18. I got it for $5. I wear this every time I go out. I literally love this so, so, so much. I love the smell. It's so summery. And I'm probably going to use it until the fall. And then I have other ones that I have, that I like to use. But I love their body mist. They're the size. They're great. So I highly recommend these. They have a bunch of scents. And they have really good scents. Like this, I think, is limited time. But I love this. This is so, so, so good. My next must-have is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. Coconut oil hand cream. There you go. This well, hand cream. There's nothing more to it. But Palmer's is usually known for their um, cocoa butter, and I don't love their cocoa butter smell because it's really, really, really strong. A mix of their cocoa butter and coconut oil smell, and it smells amazing. Like I highly recommend you try this. It's not that expensive. It's small. It's tiny, and you don't use a lot when you have this. And it's great for the winter for dry hands. It's great. Like, I highly, highly, highly recommend this. Okay, moving on to makeup. I'm going to go in order and, like, doing makeup, I guess. So, starting off with primer, the Maybelline Baby Skin. This is the only primer that, like, I have. <laughs> I don't have any of the primers. I mean, I just love this primer. It's so good. I've heard it's a good dupe for the professionals. It's a really, really good dupe. I don't know. I've never had it, but I've heard it's a good dupe. So, highly recommend this. Next, I have a few brushes that I like, that I love, all from e.l.f. e.l.f. is good brushes. Like, I didn't even realize they were all from e.l.f., but this is the e.l.f. Total Face Brush. You can see it's a big, fluffy brush. It's great for so much. It's great for dusting off powder. It's great for blush. This brush is like $2, maybe $3, and it's so, so good. It's definitely worth it. It's so fluffy. I love it. It's so soft. Definitely worth it. My next brush is the e.l.f. powder brush. You can use this for contour, you can use this for literally just about everything. Like, it's great. It's the perfect size. This is like 2 or $3 too. I don't know how much it is. But this is great. I highly recommend. Next brush is the e.l.f. contour brush. I bought this thinking it was actually going to be like a contour brush. I mean, I guess you can contour your nose with it, but like... So I didn't use it for the longest time because it was like, what is the point of this brush? But I was like, oh my god, it's the perfect size for an eyeshadow brush. So I used it as an eyeshadow brush. It's the perfect, like, all-around go-to eyeshadow brush because I use this every day. I do my makeup. It's great. Love it. My last brush is the e.l.f. eyeshadow eyebrow duo brush. This is actually my mom's. I stole it from her just for the spoolie because I don't do my eyebrows. So I just love the spoolie on this. It's great. This was like $2.00. Highly recommend. Going into foundations, the Maybelline Dream BB Pure 8 in 1. It's a BB cream. <laughs> this is a BB cream. This is one of their two BB, cre BB creams. This one's like acne clearing, acne treatments. It's really good. I really actually like this. The lightweight feel. Of course, I drop it. What's a video? What's a sad video without dropping something? But great. I love it. My next foundation is if you want like a more more coverage and more of a foundation feel, like if you want to go do the glam look, like I highly recommend this. It's the Maybelline Matte and Poreless Fit Me Foundation, and this is if you have oily skin. I like to use this one. This is great. I love this. Oh, I highly recommend this. This is great. My next product is powder. The e.l.f. translucent setting powder, it's very, it's thin. When you take a flash picture, it doesn't give me streak marks from like putting it on. It doesn't give me that. It just like looks brighter than my skin, but I guess that's good because you want your under eye to look brighter and whatever you use it. This is an amazing powder. Like it's $6 and it's definitely worth it. Like I still, I use it all the time and I use so much and I still have so much left. I, I love it. This is amazing, amazing powder, amazing product. Love it. My next product is blush. This is a Jordana blush in a touch of pink. And it's a perfect, subtle pink. I use the slightest amount. I love it so much. Sometimes I use it as an eyeshadow if I'm feeling a little pinky. I love this so, 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 so much. It's cheap. It's like $3. It's really, really good. I highly recommend it. It's cheap and it's a perfect pink blush. 
my next must have is the NYX Ultimate Shadow Palette. This is in, this is Cool Neutrals. Look at this palette. Like, this is so beautiful. This was my first eyeshadow palette that I bought at Ulta, like, with my own money. And, like, I was so excited about this. And I think it's the perfect first palette. This was, like, $7, maybe $10. I don't know, but it's definitely under 10. I highly recommend this. It's a great palette. My next must-haves are lips. The first one is the Primark brand. So if you don't have Primark, I'm very sorry. Their brand. This is the Kiss Proof Liquid Lipstick. This is, it was $4.50. And definitely, like, I love it. I wore it once because I just don't know what to wear it with. Like, I like I just don't know but this is so pretty and it's perfect for like mauve looks or like if you're wearing like a basic like black and white outfit and like just mascara and like you know your face then this is great I don't know I love this it's great my next lip product is from elf you guessed it the day and night like brown lipstick duo this is a light brown I'm almost done with it like this it's all the way and this is the dark brown Yes, yeah, see, I barely use this one. I love this brown. It's the perfect brown shade. Like, I, it's an everyday brown, definitely, for sure. I love it. Highly recommend it. It's $6, I think, but that's because you get the both. It's definitely worth it. My last lip product is the Wet n Wild Lip Gloss. It's the clear gloss, and I love this so, 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 so much. It's so glossy. It, it was like $3. It was cheap, and it's great. I love it so much. Highly recommend it. My last makeup slash skincare product is the Mario Badescu Rose Water. I love the cucumber water too. I don't have it right now though. As you can see, I'm running out of this. It's the last of my last bottle. The bigger one is 7 and the bigger, bigger one is 12. Like, it's so worth it because it lasts you so long. It lasted me two and a half months. Like, this lasts you so long. I love it. And this was the $5 one. Maybe the $7 one? Yeah, it was the $7 one. It lasts you two and a half months. Like, it's so worth it. I have two more things I want to show you. This is like accessories kind of, you know. It's just a plain brown small bag. This was $10. I got this at a thrift store actually. It's from Nine West. So it's like one of the expensive brands. But it's a cute, like, you know, cute, like over the shoulder, crossbody. Like I literally use this all summer. Because I got it in April. I use this all summer. Every time I went out since like literally April. I use this all the time. It's great. Love it. It was cheap. You can find any bag for cheap, like a Target, any bag, like anywhere. Highly recommend it. My last must have, this is kind of like corny or whatever, but like a water bottle. And I'm not saying like any type of water bottle. Like you can have a cute one, like I've seen really cute ones. It says the amount of how much water is in it or like anything, you can put anything in here. But it's huge. It's 24 ounces. I like to know how much I'm drinking. So, like, let's say I refill this two or three times. Like, I'm drinking, like, that amount. And I just love it so much. Like, I've had this for the longest time. Like, I use it for dance. And now I'm starting to use them more. Because I went to the gym for two weeks with a, with a guest pass. So, I loved using this. I use this every time I went to the gym. And now I'm using it more just to measure how much I'm drinking. You know, and it looks, has a sporty little... I just got water in my <laughs> But it's purple, it's cute, or whatever. This is on sale, I think. It came in a package of three at Costco for like $20, and this is an expensive brand called Tico or something like that. So this was really good. Really, really good. I'm probably going to start bringing it to school because I used to just bring regular water bottles to school. But I'm probably going to start bringing that to school. That concludes the video. That was my must-have products. Hope you enjoyed this video. It was it was kind of fun. Like I like sharing my products with the world. So, hope you enjoyed it. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Like I said, I'll probably put the products that I have. Like I have links to in the description box. If you want to know more about them. I'll put them there. You know, I think I'm some beauty guru or whatever. But, you know, I like helping out the people. So, all my social medias are linked down below.